Hey there, and thank you for joining me for another episode of YKG and Bloom. I'm your host, Tracy Martins. Now today I am with Lauren Hoaxma from Windsor Nutrition Coach, and we're gonna be talking a lot about certified holistic nutrition, fitness, and how we need to take better care of ourselves. I agree, let's get into it. Yeah, so what inspired you to become certified holistic nutrition coach? Okay, so yes, I am a certified holistic health and nutrition coach, Mm -hmm. and I'm certified through the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. So that course was all online. It was, um, it took me a year and a half to complete, Mm -hmm. and it wasn't like a year and a half of, you know, go at your own pace, and that's why it took me a year and a half. It was like strict, you know, committing to a certain amount of hours every week. Um, I believe that I graduated from that in 2017, 2016 or 2017. Okay. Um, so I was working at the gym. My brother and I owned Windsor CrossFit yes. at the time. And every single year I had a goal for myself to just for self-growth, self-improvement. And I decided to register for this course because I'm very interested in fitness and nutrition. So I registered as like, that was going to be my self growth thing that I did that year. Um, So yeah, I I did that and I utilized it slightly in the gym. Obviously like it's super helpful working with clients who are into fitness Mm -hmm. um, to be able to speak to them about their nutrition as well. It's a perfect puzzle piece. They go hand in hand, fitness and nutrition. And I'm I'm just into it myself. I've always been into it. Mm-hmm. I've done a whole bunch of different types of like fad diets just yeah. to try them out, see what they're like. Um, oh, because you never know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You never know. So yeah, just to even say that I've experienced all of them. So when people come yes. to me and they say, oh, you know, I'm interested in doing, you know, keto. Yes. What's that like? Or I'm interested in doing um, vegan. What's that like? Uh, so I could at least speak to it. Yeah from a personal standpoint and that's the best that's the best way of doing it is it's so horrible when you have some people that say oh no you should never try this okay well why yeah I agree. I mm-hmm. think that nutrition for everybody is like a fingerprint, like yes. a snowflake. Like what works for one person might not work for another person. What makes one person feel good and like healthy and yeah. clean and energetic um, might not be the same for somebody else. Mm-hmm. So I'm not against anything and I'm not super, super for anything in particular, but yeah, it definitely, definitely subjective. So everybody that all of your customers, your clientele, it's specifically formulated for each one of them. Yeah. So it depends on their goals and Mm -hmm. their current lifestyle. So as a holistic health and nutrition coach, you look at the individual as a whole. So you look at their entire lifestyle encompassed in one. You look at their sleep, you look at their bowel movements, you look at their stress, you look at their anxiety, um, you look at their fitness, you look at what they're currently eating, uh, their their spare time, their hobbies. Mm -hmm. So you look at everything as a whole and you kind of base what their goals are, as well as their lifestyle off of what they should be doing for nutrition. You also base it off of what they've been doing in the past as well. So if they're like, Hey, I've done this. It doesn't work for me. I don't feel good doing that. Like it's not my jam. Then I gear it more towards something that would still work for them Mm -hmm. while still making sure that wellness is a priority and still being able to accomplish their goals. Now, how long have you been doing this full time? I have been doing this since I had my first daughter a year after she was born. So (laughs) 2020. Yeah. 2020 is when I started this business. So we left the gym about three and a half years ago now. Dan and I sold the gym Mm -hmm. um, to two amazing people, Kim and Rick. Windsor CrossFit is still alive, thriving, healthy. Go check them out. And they were also on our podcast a few episodes back. There we go. Okay. (laughs) A little plug there. Um, So we sold the gym Mm -hmm. and I honestly, the years are escaping me right now, Um, but we sold the gym about three and a half years ago. I had my daughter. I took a year off um, Mm -hmm. to be a mom. And then afterwards I didn't have a job to go back to right after (laughs) my mat. Yeah. After my mat leave, I'm like, well, what am I going to do? I'm not one to work for somebody. It's just my personality. So I decided like I've had, I've had the certification Mm -hmm. still definitely super passionate about nutrition and fitness. So I decided to start my own thing and it's been going really good ever since. That's great. Now, when you do get new customers in, what is your procedure? How you guys figure out what 
what their program is going to be since each one is going to be individualized. Yeah. So it depends on what the person's looking for. Mm -hmm. So typically people come to me and they're looking for like a thorough nutrition education. They need to change their lifestyle and they don't really have a lot of knowledge about nutrition and good lifestyle habits for them to accomplish their goals. Mm -hmm. Most people who are meeting with me are looking for weight loss and lean muscle gain in particular. Those are the main people who I'm working with. I work with anybody, but those are the people who seem to flock to me. Um, So with that being said, the first thing I do with people is I have an initial consultation with them. I have them fill out a very, very detailed health history form. And that health history form, I ask them a whole bunch of questions. Like I said, I look at the person as a whole and and I need to understand what their lifestyle is like. Mm -hmm. And then we really get into nutrition as well. So I ask, you know, what are they eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? What are they snacking on? How much alcohol are they consuming during the week? How much water is what they're eating on weekends worse than what they're eating during the week? Because we all know weekends could just be a shit show. (laughs) Um, So after the initial consultation, we also talk about their goals. Right. Yes. And so based off of that whole hour, hour and a half meeting where we're having a really in-depth conversation, we both have a really good understanding of, I have a good understanding of the client. They have a good understanding of what I do. And then from there, I build out a personalized health and nutrition plan. So for that health and nutrition plan, we tackle all of their lifestyle habits that need to be in line in order for them to achieve their goals. Oh, nice. So we talk about, you know, hydration, we talk about fitness, we talk about sleep, we talk about supplementation, we talk about nutrition very much in depth, mm-hmm. um, and we talk about nutrition for them specifically. Yeah. We talk about a whole bunch of other things as well. So that's about a two hour meeting, that oh, personalized wow. health and nutrition plan. Yeah. So after that, we have two accountability appointments. So we meet two weeks after our personal health and nutrition plan. So they get a two week sample meal plan and they essentially work on that. Oh, that's be- great. Yeah. In the, in the meantime, and then we meet a week and a half into that meal plan to see how things are going. We do weigh-ins and measurements, make sure progress is being made. And then I send them back off. uh, And then we meet again two weeks after that. So typically people who are working with me really need to work with me for a decent amount of time. So that program that I'm talking about in particular is five weeks long that we're working together. They have unlimited access to me. They can text me, email me, uh, call me if they have any questions. So I'm just always like one one text, phone call, or email away. Oh, that's awesome. And I am going to look here because you do have a little part here, the fridge and pantry clean out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's clean out is a little bit of an exaggeration, but sometimes... Not really? Yeah. People just aren't sure if what they have in their house is healthy or not. So it's like, you know, people will always take pictures and send it to me and be like, what about this? I have this. What do you think? Is it good? Is it not? And so some people just have me come into their houses, like go over what they have and on a regular basis, what they have in their pantry, what they have in their fridge, and kind of give them the, the lowdown on each product that they have. It's almost like they should have it. It's almost like you have to educate them on like labels. Because yeah. a lot of people don't understand the carbohydrate section of a label. And they're seeing 36 grams of carbs and going, okay, I got to toss this out. But they're not reading the fiber content or, you know, the sugars and what's making up that the carbohydrates. They, they could be good ones. Yeah. Well, the, the one thing that people don't understand is truly like their calorie and macronutrient intake mm-hmm. and how important that is for them and how they need to fuel their body properly. Mm-hmm. So, you know, looking at a nutrition label is very arbitrary for the most part if you don't know what you're consuming in a day as a whole yes. with everything. So it's like you can see that something's 100 calories and has, you know, like you said, 36 grams of carbs. And that's all good and fine. But it's like, how does that fit in your entire day with all of your macronutrients, your yes. proteins, your carbs, your fats, your calories? And are you sure you're having enough of each? Most of the people that I work with are under eating, not purposely, but because they're busy, you know, they're, they're trying to lose weight. And so they think that maybe not eating as much is the right thing to do, but it's actually the opposite. Yeah. Most people that I'm working with, they're eating more than they've ever eaten before and they're losing weight 
in, in the most positive way. Well, and, the, and that's the funny thing is I know I've um, heard people say, you know, I'm, I'm eating less, but I'm not gaining or I'm not losing the weight. I'm gaining the weight. And it's mm-hmm. like, OK, but you're putting your body into a fight or flight mm-hmm. mode by not eating. You do have to eat but eat properly. Yeah. So first of all, the qualities and quantities of the foods that you're eating do matter. Mm -hmm. Qualities and quantities. Also, if you're not eating enough throughout the day, every single day, like you were saying, in terms of your body going into fight or flight, Mm -hmm. if you're not eating enough, your body's going to start holding on to excess body fat because it's not sure when it's going to get its next meal and it needs calories and it needs energy. So that's why people who aren't eating enough during the day are storing more body fat. You help them obviously with the fitness as well. That is a huge part of this. So I provide recommendations in terms of fitness. Okay. Um, I also am a in-house nutrition coach for two different gyms, okay. great gyms. So the Shred Shop, there's two different locations, LaSalle and Erie Street and Evolution Intensity Training, which is in Decumsey off of Manning Road in the Green Valley Plaza. So typically if people don't already have a home gym, mm-hmm. um, I send them to one of those two places, even to just try it out, a free trial. Or if they're not into joining a gym because of my background in CrossFit training for Mm -hmm. 10 years, (laughs) um, I often am able to provide some recommendations for them to do some fitness at home Mm -hmm. and still uh, see some progress. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. And I mean, you do have to look at her Instagram. The feed is amazing. There are a lot of really fun reels that you put. There's, I noticed a little tips, hints, tricks, and it, it's really inspiring to see that you as a married mom of two little, little ones, that you're able to maintain and help others as well. Like it, it, it's amazing. And now you are working in house at two other gyms. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. I do like to have fun on my Instagram. Life is short. Yeah. Nobody cares. So, yeah. you know, just have fun. Do you. Yeah. Um, and it takes the seriousness out of losing the weight and yes. working. You you work so hard and people tend to get really serious. It's like you can still have fun as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I'm, I just want people to be comfortable with me as well. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people who are into like the health and fitness industry yeah. seem a little bit intimidating based off of like how they may look. <laughs> and some people may be a little like Intense. shy or passive. Yeah. In, in communicating or reaching out to somebody. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like you said, um, I'm a mom of two. I've been through it all. It's like I've been through it all. So, um, absolutely. It's, it's definitely a lifestyle, right? Yes. It's a lifestyle thing. So, just living it consistently day to day and and staying on track is consistency is key. Now you are classified as a certified holistic health and nutrition fitness coach. What is holistic health? So holistic health is looking at the individual in their entirety. So looking at them in terms of their stress levels, their sleep, their nutrition, their fitness, their hobbies, their lifestyle, Mm -hmm. um, how sedentary they are, their mental, emotional state. So that's essentially the definition of holistic Okay, in that sense. Well, that's great because a lot of times, usually if you you go to a nutritional, a nutrition coach or a gym or even your doctor, they don't take everything into account. They'll do the blood work, they'll do the urinalysis and they ask you what you eat, but they don't take into account the other 80% of your your daily routine or your mental health or any of that stuff because a lot of us have sad cookies in the cupboard. <laughs> and it's nice to know that you are helping the entire person and not just a little portion of it. Absolutely. I used to have a client who literally turned to like eating entire cheesecakes when she was upset. That's me. <clears throat> so we actually talked about that very in depth and we like really isolated those emotions and we're talking about mm-hmm. that and made her very aware of the connection between her emotions and eating cheesecake. Yeah. So still till this day, it's been two years now, 
she messages me and says like, thank you so much for all that you've done. Like you've absolutely changed my life. You've changed my mindset. Like I look at things differently now. I respond to my emotions differently now because I am now more aware of my old habits and how I would turn to cheesecake that, <laughs> like honest, crazy. That's great. <clears throat> I mean, like you are taking everything into account and you're being a really good support system. And I think sometimes that's more important than having somebody say, you need to eat this and you need to exercise this. Sometimes they need to bounce these things off of you. And it's great that, like you said, two years later, they're still messaging you and they're still living. Yes, and, very, very much. Yeah. And so how many clients do you take on? I don't have, um, I don't have a number no. for that. Just no. as much as you can? I take on as much as I can. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like it's very difficult for me to say no to somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't yet and I don't plan on it. That's good. But I guess we'll see as we roll out. I just started at the two gyms, like I said. Oh. So, and I already have my own client base from outside of the gym. Mm-hmm. So we'll see how it goes. But again, like I do love helping people. And I think that honesty paired with friendship and frequent communication is key throughout that entire process that I'm working with someone. Oh, for sure. For sure. I just think it's it's amazing. It, it's really inspiring and it's making me think about maybe making some changes and getting rid of my sad cookies and my right, cheesecake. <laughs> now, I know we did go over the program in its entirety, but I'm sure you do have different programs designed for each person. How long do they usually run for? So typically... I work with someone who's looking for kind of like a lifestyle overhaul Mm -hmm. for about five weeks from start to finish. Okay. That's the typical time range. However, I do offer other services that aren't necessarily in a time range. So I offer sample meal plans Mm -hmm. for people who are just looking for that and they don't really want anything else to do with me. Um, And I also offer accountability appointments as well. So there's some people who are like, you know, I feel like I have my health and nutrition down for the most part, Mm -hmm. but I just need somebody to hold me accountable because I'm, I fall off too frequently and, and I'm over it. So they'll reach out to me. They'll buy packages of accountability appointments and we'll just kind of get them scheduled out according to them. So if they're the type of person where they're like, I need to meet with somebody every two weeks, every month, whatever it is for them and their specific personality type, then yeah. that's what we do. Oh, that's great. And you, you are at the gyms now. And how often are you there if somebody was looking to to see you at either Shred Shop or Evolution? I'm there as frequently as I can be. Oh, good. Yeah, so that means like two, three days a week. Oh, nice. um, I'm at both like floating between all three gyms. So because Shred Shop has two locations. Oh, yes. Yes, so the I'm LaSalle floating, one. I keep forgetting about yeah, that one. I'm floating. Making it work. Oh, that's good. That's yep. p- perfect. And if you guys want to get in touch with Lauren, she's at windsornutritioncoach.com. Yeah. If anything, follow her on Instagram at Windsor Nutrition Coach. Yep. And she is funny. She has some great reels. She has some great tips as well. Thank you. And it might inspire you to start this journey to a better life. Thank you so much, Lauren. I really do appreciate you coming on here today. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. Oh. I really appreciate it as well. And if anybody is interested in reaching out to me, you could DM me on Instagram. So my handle is Windsor Nutrition Coach. You can check out my website, which is windsornutritioncoach.com, or you could email Email me at lauren at windsornutritioncoach.com. Thank you guys. This was great. I appreciate it. It was awesome. And she's also at Evolution in Tecumseh. Tecumseh. Yep. And Shred Shop, which is in Windsor on Erie Street. And it is also in LaSalle on Malden Road. That's right. Yep. Come and check me out there. Yes. Have a, Do a free class. Give it a go. Definitely. And again, my name is Tracy Martins. I want to thank you for joining us for another episode of YQG and Bloom. You guys have a great day.